Daddy, you come back home. Yes, Shirley. Good night, Catherine. Good night, Otto. You've come back to me? Well, uh, I was in the neighborhood and I thought I would drop in and say hello. Oh, I see. That's your reason. Nothing wrong with my coming here, is there? No. As I told you when you left, the door is never shut against you. You are free to come and go as you please. I'm glad to hear that. But are you happy to see me? Are you happy to come here? Yes. I am happy to be here with my wife and daughter. <coughs> but somehow, I don't feel that I'm wanted. What do you mean, Daddy? Well, uh, how should I put it? <coughs> this feeling of being a part of what is happening, a feeling of being needed, you know, that sort of thing. You mean I don't make you feel as though I need you? Well, you could put it that way. What do you want me to do? Throw my arms around you and kiss you and cry and say how much I miss you? How ridiculous. Shirley, I thought you told me your mother needs me. Shirley? Mommy, I, I thought that... Shirley, you told your father I wanted him to come back here? I'm oh, sorry, Mommy. Oh, that's why you came back here? You thought I'd come crawling before you and kissing your feet? I didn't expect that, but I just thought you would show some feeling towards me when I... And I thought that you were longing to come here, and that when you came here, you would make up and forget everything. Ah, that's what you were wishing for. Wishing for? Huh, what nonsense. Who you take me for? A woman without any pride? Just to say I have a husband, I must stand for any kind of old treatment from you? Look, I better be going. You better stop going and go. And don't worry to come back here. You could come and look for your daughter if you want. But forget about me completely. Just do as though I did. Good night, Shirley. Good night, Catherine. Go back to that little nastiness you're living with. I could get a divorce anytime I want from you. The sweetest woman in the world, you call her nastiness. Well, go ahead with your divorce. I wouldn't even bother to contest it. You think I'm afraid of the scandal? I'm going and ring Mr. Thomas right now and start making arrangements. Thomas? Yes. The private detective who put me on your trail. And who have you in all this misery? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You are the one who look like you're seeing hell. Goodbye. Drive him away. Oh God, <laughs> no, he will not come back to me. <laughs> yes, he will. <laughs> I don't know why I had to lose my temper like this. <laughs> Control yourself. <laughs> I feel to die. <laughs> Mommy, why don't you tell him how much you miss him? Surely. <laughs> I couldn't bring myself to doing it. <laughs> Remember, a man always likes to feel he's important. Daddy just wanted you to say how much you miss him. And why didn't he tell me he missed me too? <laughs> I don't know, but he will come back. <laughs> but Shirley, don't tell him to come back. Let him come for himself. Let me get thin like a rake. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go out of my mind if I want. <laughs> just send me to the madhouse, but just don't tell him to come back. <laughs> if that is what you want. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that is what I want. <laughs> that is what I want. 